because I I've always grew up like you know unselfish. You know I don't I don't care about what accolades I have or, or what what awards I get. It's, I feel like it's the only thing that matters is that state title. You know for whatever level I'm at, the only thing that matters is you know winning. High pass for Miller Mitchell. Now he's gonna go up, reverse and finish, and we got a tie game. Tough take by Mitchell on the soft little basket. A good bounce for Mitchell, his first bucket of the night. Xavion Mitchell, six seven yeah, the, Imagine what he's gonna be like in a couple years. Immediate future for Oshash North mm. is so bright. Xavion Mitchell, class of 2025. Uh, I go to Oshkosh North High School. So like, I mean, you know, Oshkosh is a, it's not really like, you know, it's, it's big, it's like mediocre, we do say, you know, it's not too big, but it's not also small, you know, but it's, it's, a, it's a good town, especially for basketball. We have a lot of, you know, good, good hoopers here and obviously, Tyrese going here and you know being with my brother growing up here it's not really there's not really much to do there's not much distraction to do so there's like so I feel like it's a it's a great it's a great town great city that you know have you have your dreams and focus on your dreams and be successful in it because there's not much to do you know you the only thing you can do is you know go to the gym all day go back go home eat and go back to the gym you know and that's and that's what I think about Oshkosh. So he's he went to high school with my my mom and my my aunt and my uncle. So he's known oh, okay. he's known them for a while. And my brother, my mom my mom took my brother to go train with him when I was probably I don't know first second grade. And I always wanted to train with them because I seen how they worked out. And you know I always wanted to um, you know be a part of that. But I was I was obviously young at that age. And you know and, and we've had a strong relationship. And he, he's always wanted what was best for me. And, and you know. I, I, I go work out with him, you know, obviously whenever he's, he's um, around and, and, you know, he's a great trainer, he knows what he's talking about and, you know, and that's how I've known him is through my, my mom and my uncle and my aunt. I want to tell you something that every successful person has to do, including you. Believe it or not, every successful person in this world has jumped. I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. You eventually, you are going to have to jump. You cannot just exist in this life. You have got to try to live. You just beat me, okay? You just beat me. So I want you to split that three-point line. You're here. Okay, you're just working a pound dribble and on my reach. Are you good? Thank 
Is there like a quote that you live by at all, or like? You know, I just, I don't really, I just live, you know, just, just obviously work hard, you know, work hard and be grateful and go by God and what, what, what God gives you and what feelings he puts in you, you know, and, you know, how, whatever you feel is right and what God makes you feel is right, I feel like it's most important to me because if there's things that I'm doing and, and it just doesn't feel right for me or right to me, I won't do those type of things because, you know, God put me on this earth to, you know, follow his ways and do what he wants me to do, and, you know, spread spread his uh, spread his word and, and show people how amazing it truly is to, you know, be a part of, you know, the love of God. And, and you know, I, I feel like just living through him and, and by his word is, is one thing that I always stand by. God is great. Is it that simple? God is great. Don't get no simpler than that, bro. Did you know that? I mean, I'm, I'm, everybody knows that, but the way you know it now, did you know it before that incident took place? You can know it all you want, but until you got to pick up that cross that you can't carry, and he picks it up for you and carries you and the cross, then you know. Shirt. He's a Wisconsin guy, but now he's a Pacer guy. He's Brad Weber, the head coach of Oshkosh North in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. He was Tyrese Halliburton's high school coach. He did. He had that smile. It's an infectious smile. Uh, you know, I'd say the biggest thing that we had to work with him on is for as emotional as he is, it's being able to just keep that all in check because everybody feeds off of him. His teammates, his coaches, his crowd. And so when things were bad, maybe as a freshman, he wore that a little bit too much. And so we worked with him on that. I'll still send him messages, watching Pacer games when he's on the bench or on the court about his body language. So it's one thing that we've kind of always been working on and, and he's real good with. Brad Weber, thanks so much for your time. We look forward to seeing you at future Pacers Bucks games. Uh, absolutely, thanks for having me. Yeah, so Weber coach started coaching me my fourth grade year. So he was coaching me for my camps and stuff. I was, you know, shady and shady. big shady was a big, big coach, and, you know, uh, growing up and, and seeing him. And, and, and then, you know, I'll, ever since then, you know, me and Weber had, I had a pretty strong relationship and, and we know what we, we want to do, especially coach the player. I think it's important to have a relationship like that and trust each other and stuff like that.
I think it's going to be a better season. I think I think this year we're I think we're we're definitely taking a step in the right direction, doing all these new things and that we haven't been doing. And I feel you know that that we're closer as a team and. and and that we're, we're, we're doing more team bond and stuff that's going to help us, you know, take the next step forward, which is obviously what we need because over these last, since my freshman year, I feel like we fell apart, you know, as a group and, and we didn't stick together like we needed to. You know, we, we always started off, started off hot. I think last year we started off 5-0. and My freshman year we started off like 8-9 eight, eight and nine or no, and we were ranked third in the, uh, in, in the state I meant. And, uh, and we and we lost, and after those losses, we, we broke down. and. and you know, as a group and as a team, we didn't need, we didn't, we weren't where we needed to be after those losses. And I feel like this year, I feel like we can take a loss better than we than we usually could. And, and in the last couple of years, and I think Weber's doing a, a phenomenal job this year of, you know, preparing us for that and, and preparing us for our games also. Kids growing up, you know, my my I always looked up to my my my, my dad and my my brother because you know they always loved basketball and they, they you know is is what they do and I felt like I played I played three different sports so I played football baseball and basketball so it was like you know growing up I always was better at basketball and then I mean going into middle school and high school I realized I mean I could do something special you know and and especially um, running into Team Hero and Chris and. And Miles, I, I think they really, really showed me like that I could really be special with with just this sport, you know, and, and not these other sports, and you know, and and just you know, growing up in this town and, and you know, going to the North basketball camp, I feel like I just fell in love with how how the game is played and how how much goes into the game of basketball. When we're here, I want us to explode down for a gather and through. I want us to keep it away, rip through and finish. Okay, keeping that thing away from the defender. You don't ask God for it. What you want Him to do? He showed it to you. Faith without works is dead. So now you got to put in work. All of y'all sitting in here, you want a better life, correct? Have you, haven't you imagined a better life? Okay, who who you think he showed it to? He showed it to you. Why you think he showed it to you? Because he want to give it to you. But if you don't work, if you don't ask him for it, he cannot give it to you because he created us with the power of choice. We make choices every day. If you decide that you will be poor, there's nothing I can do. You're going to be poor. If you decide to be rich today, who's going to stop you? Who? If you decide you want to be rich, all you got to do is start. Why not? Who's going to stop you? Unless you tell it to the wrong person. Mama. Mama, listen to me. I'm going to be rich. Ain't nobody rich in this family. Go in there and sit down somewhere. Get yourself a good job. Oh, mama, you must be right. No, mama could be wrong. Because what you have in your imagination, God didn't show it to your mama. I'm sorry. He showed it to you. Listen to me. If y'all don't do nothing else, write everything you imagine down. Write it all down. Pray about it and watch what happens. Watch what happens. Because let me tell you something. If God can fix me, you have no idea who you're looking at. You have no idea what I've done. You have no idea what I've been through. You, you wouldn't even talk to me if you knew what I had to do to be here. But God is in the forgiving business. God is in the get your life together business. God is in the turn it around business. God is in the saving business. God did all that for me. So I'm telling you right now, if God can fix Steve Harvey and turn him into this, I bet he can turn you into that.
I've been, I think I've been stuck at three since eighth grade, eighth grade. So like, you know, obviously seeing that, you know, I mean, I mean, seeing those and some of the rankings in the country and stuff. I mean, I, I, I look at them, but I don't really pay attention to them. You know, it's just, you know, I, I'll go, especially, you know, against playing against those top ranked guys in the country. Like, you know, obviously I know they're high ranked higher than me. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have a better game. I'm gonna try to have a better game. You know, I'm gonna have motivation for it. You know, I've always had like, I mean, everybody's human, you know, you know, no, and, and I can, I feel I work work harder than most kids, probably almost all the kids in my class, or at, at least the same amount as all these kids in my class, you know, because, and I have confidence in me and, and how I play and how, what I'm capable of, and and I know that, you know, just, just you know, playing like me and being like me is just going to be what's best for me.
You like ever like keep goals or write down goals like yeah, I have at a, your house and stuff? And I have like, them on my background. Oh right shoot! Now, so it's like I have so the first one is obviously make it to the NBA, which is what I'm big on, and then uh, win Gator Gatorade Player of the Year one of my years, and then score at least 2,500 points in high school. One of them's win Peace Jam. Uh, eventually make it to the USA team and win gold, which has always been a dream of mine, and at least get a D D1 offers. Win a national championship in college, um, get drafted lottery at least, uh, help my family out is also I'm big on. And then most important I have is um, trusting God and in the journey He has planned for you. And then I have a Bible verse. Uh, it's uh, um, 
Psalms 118.6, it says, By, uh, The Lord is on my side. For the Lord is on my side, I will not be afraid. What can man do, do to me? Basically, that's all Dude, I Dude, that's have. sick. Yeah. When'd you make that? I made that my freshman year. Basically. Freshman year, yeah, really? Like great freshman year. Uh, my brother, my brother was always big in my life. He really got me into basketball. He really, especially during that COVID time, he really uh, helped me, uh, you know, helped me get to the point where I'm at right now because, you know, I didn't really work as hard as I do, as I did right now. And, you know, he, he, he really, you know, set the foundation for me to be the basketball player I am today and, and what I'm going to be because I always looked up to him as a kid and always seen him playing ball. So that's one guy I always looked up to. We're not on the stage just because of talent or ability. We're up here because of 4 a.m. We're up here because of two-a-days or five-a-days. We're up here because we had a dream and let nothing stand in our way. If anything tried to bring us down, we used it to make us stronger. We were never satisfied, never finished, will never be retired. Rest at the end, not in the middle. And I took that to heart. I believe there's time for resting at the end, but for me, that time is not now. That <laughs> ain't even a stop, bro. I dropped the ball. Bro, is my brother gonna take that for what? Oh! He got your jumper, let go. And what's up there, man? I had two up there. Send that to 
That's a that's a big question because you know we had some great players, Frank Seiker, Tyrese Halliburton, Quincy Anderson, all those obviously Frank Shady also and all these all these amazing players. Like I just wanna I don't wanna be I don't care if I'm number one coming out or number two, like like as long as I'm up there, you know, with those type of guys and, and I wanna leave my mark on the school at winning a state title, which is most important, you know, at having this team, you know, I wanna I wanna Make sure that people remember this team and, and you know, as a group remember us. You know, because I I've always grew up like you know unselfish. You know, I don't I don't care about what accolades I have or, or what what awards I get. It's, I feel like it's the only thing that matters is that state title. You know, for whatever level I'm at, the only thing that matters is you know winning. You know, and that's and that's how I how I go about it. And you know, I it would be it'd be an honor to be on you know with those guys and you know the top players and coming out of high school because there's, there's so many great players that came here. Mm -hmm. 